Olympic video games are a subgenre of sport video games officially licensed by the International Olympic Committee. These games have more than one event and or several sports, and have an Olympic theme. This is in contrast to multi-sport games such as Wii Sports which are not classified as Olympic video games. No genres other than sports video games have been attempted with the Olympic license. They are one of the older video game genres, having first appeared with the 1983 arcade classic Track and Field. Since then, numerous titles have been released, usually in the immediate run-up to the Olympic Games each game is intended to cover. Official IOC licenses became a norm since the first official game, Olympic Gold, was released in time for the 1992 Summer Olympics. This is unrelated to the discussion surrounding having video games be included as an Olympic sport. Topic evolution and criticism Companies like EPYX, Accolade, US Gold and Konami developed many of the early games. The genre is often overlooked by the gaming industry and considered little more than a novelty or memorabilia attached to the event, with some considering it as purely an exercise in licensing and merchandise. Gameplay is the common target for detractors, since it usually consists of the button mashing formula used in track and field or joystick waggling as used in Daily Thompson's Decathlon. However, since they are released at regular intervals, they can be used as a way to compare how graphics in computer games have changed over time, from the CGA graphics of the first EPYX titles to the ever-evolving 3D graphics of more modern titles such as Athens 2004, Beijing 2008, and London 2012. Forbes argued that while the genre doesn't evolve, they would like to see how the various sports are rendered on next-generation consoles, from the 1988 Seoul Korea Olympics up to the London 2012 Olympics, an official Olympic tie-in game was released each Summer Olympics. Kotaku argues that the four-year cycle nature of such games results in each release being on a new console, becoming a first adopter decision for Olympic video game fans. In addition, the site noted that these games never have an overarching sense of narrative, which essentially turns them into a series of minigames. Thirdly, many of the Olympic sports already have dedicated titles out there which would appeal to fans more than these minigame collections which contain simplified gameplay versions of their sports. The games also lack a career mode, which is common in many of their sports video game counterparts. Vice argues that prominently having successful Olympic sportspeople on the cover of Olympic Games builds their public brand profile by introducing them to gamers. The site likened this to how some music related video games can introduce gamers to new bands, or some media tie ins can encourage gamers to explore the expanded universe. Topic. List of games Topic Official Hyper Olympic eighty four nineteen eighty four Arcade Official Olympic license in Japan only Olympic Gold nineteen ninety two Sega Game Gear Sega Genesis Sega Master System Winter Olympics 1993 Amiga, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, SNES, Sega Game Gear, MS-DOS, Sega Master System Olympic Summer Games 1996 SNES, Game Boy, PlayStation, Sega Genesis, 3DO Nagano Winter Olympics 98 1997 Arcade, PlayStation, Nintendo 64 Sydney 2000, 2000 PlayStation, Microsoft Windows, Dreamcast Salt Lake 2002, 2002 Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Game Boy Advance Athens 2004, 2004 PlayStation 2, Microsoft Windows Torino 2006, 2006 Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox Beijing 2008, 2008 PlayStation 3 Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows Vancouver 2010, 2010, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows. London 2012, 2012, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Steep Road to the Winter Olympics 2017, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows.
Topic Mario and Sonic Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games by Sega 2007 Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games by Sega 2009 Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games by Sega 2011 Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games by Nintendo 2013 Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games by Nintendo 2016 Topic non-official Microsoft Decathlon aka Olympic Decathlon by Microsoft 1981 Track and Field by Konami 1983 He's Games by Hesware 1984 Hyper Sports by Konami 1984 Track and Field 2 Hyper Olympic 2 by Konami 1984 Summer Games I and 2 by EPYX 1984 85 Winter Games by EPYX 1985 International Track and Field by Konami Stadium Events World Class Track Meet by Bandai 1986 The Games, Winter Edition by EPYX 1988 Konami 88 by Konami 1988 The Games, Summer Edition by EPYX Official Game of the USOC for the 1988 Summer Olympics The Games, Summer Challenge by Accolade The Games, Winter Challenge by Accolade 1991 Gold Medal Challenge by Capcom 1992 Alien Olympics 2044 AD 1994 International Track and Field by Konami 1996 International Track and Field 2000 by Konami 2000 Millennium Winter Sports by Konami 2000 Sergei Bubka's Millennium Games by Midas Games 2000 Konami Sports Series by Konami 2001 ESPN International Winter Sports 2002 by Konami 2002 New International Track and Field by Konami 2008 Summer Athletics by DTP Entertainment 2008 Hypersports Winter by Konami 2010 Hyper Sports Track and Field by Konami 2010. Topic: <laughs> Games on other genres with another Olympic-related license. Team USA Basketball, released for the Barcelona 1992 basketball tournament with a USOC license. Olympic Soccer, released for the Atlanta 1996 football tournament. Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings, platformer based on Atlanta Games mascot Actua Ice Hockey, released for the Nagano 1998 Ice Hockey Tournament Topic Critical reception Slate argued that Olympic video games are generally forgotten quickly like the Olympic games they're based on, and thought the genre had remained stagnant from 1983's track and field up to 2K Sports Torino 2006. Kotaku noted that the Olympic brand is so huge that these video games are often non in tights by comparison while the event is happening. And once the event is over the game become obsolete too. 